ألا إن أولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين آمنوا وكانوا يتقون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله and welcome to another edition of Awliyaullah, Allah's allies. Today we would like to talk about kindness. I'm sure many of you as Muslim or as a human being, you know what kindness uh, means. Uh, in Arabic, we use many words for kindness. Uh, there is a little bit difference between kindness and compassion, kindness and mercy, but they all, um, you know, uh, come to one uh, concept is when you show mercy to someone, uh, concern and all of these meanings put them together but kindness is it's actually an act that is displayed and directed to someone mainly a, a living being could be a human being could be an animal could be a plant uh, some living being could be kindness to nature but mo mostly kindness comes in interaction transactions with people when you are dealing with someone. Uh, could be in marriage, could be in partnerships, could be uh, amongst the people of a community, could be at work. Kindness is the feature of awliyaullah, those who are close to God. And we can go far, we have the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the prophets before him, peace be upon them, who displayed kindness. And kindness is used in Arabic in different words. We use the word lutf, lutf. Um, uh, Allah is Latif. We also use Rifq, you know, Rifq, like subtleness and, 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 and being, uh, you know, soft uh, in, in, in the way you deliver things. It does mean that you're not strong. You are soft the way you deliver, the way you convey a message. But it could mean also that you are serious, uh, uh, sometimes shouting, and saying things loud and scolding may not need, may not lead anything, and that's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Aisha said, always loved uh, rifq and lutf and these uh, you know concepts of kindness in the way we talk to the people. You know, you could be firm, but it, you don't have to be rude. You don't have to be mean. You could speak to the people in a way that endears them to you and endears you to them. We can't imagine. Waliullah not being kind the way he speaks or acts. You know, Allah is Al Latif. Allah says in the Quran, Allahu Latifun Bi'ibadi, Yarzuku Man Yasha, Wahu al Kawi al Aziz. Allah is kind to his worshippers, to his servants. So the word Latif came in the Quran as Latif seven times, but it came also in different words, Rahim, many, many times, Ra'uf, you know, all of these words. But at the end of the day, it is the people with great compassion who are the people who stay in the eyes of Allah high. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, imitated the pro attributes of Allah uh, par excellence, and he actually manifested them and practiced them uh, at the highest possible uh, form and his kindness you know came from the kindness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which has no limits he was very generous with his smile with his address the way he spoke to the uh, children to women to his companions he sallallahu alaihi wasallam extended you know his kindness to many people and he was known for being kind Allah praised him and said bil mu'minina ra'ufur rahim with the believers he is very kind very understanding and considerate in mercy the quranic words are very many we have ra'uf rahim we have many words but they convey uh, a, 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 an intensive and comprehensive meaning you know, and that was the nature of the Prophet Sallallahu and the nature of his kindness to the people. He said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one of the finest acts of kindness is for a man to treat his uh, uh, parents' friends, you know, in a kindly fashion after they have departed. Just an example that you also continue the kindness of your parents. Uh, you perpetuate it. So it's like a legacy that continues. You teach it to your children and you practice it. He said, he who wishes to have his provision enlarged and 
and his life extended or prolonged should treat his relatives well. So treating people and being kind to them is actually a means and a way and a reason Allah will extend your life. And this is very important because kindness prolongs life because the attitude of a kind person is actually to, 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 to it will actually lead you to have this this, this comfort and peace in your mind, less stress. So being kind will go back to you. It's like you hit something and it comes back. So you hit a ball against the wall, it comes back to you. So kindness, when you're kind to others, you are actually kind to yourself. And uh, when Prophet was asked, Man nasi bi husni sahbati, Who deserves more of my kindness and attention? The, the man asked the Prophet said, uh, he said, Sallallahu replied, Ummuka, your mother. Yes, again, then who else? He says, Ummuk, your mother. Then who else? He says, Ummuk, your mother. Then he said, who else? He said, your father. You know, father, then your relatives. Uh, in, in order, of course, of relationship. This hadith teaches us that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi wants us to pay attention first uh, to be kind to our parents, the reason why we are here, and then move to our uh, partners, our, our spouses, our children, and then the orphans in society. Treat the orphan humanly, show them love. He Sallallahu Alaihi said the best house amongst the Muslims in one which contains an orphan is the one that contains an orphan who is well treated and the worst house among the Muslims is the one who contains an orphan who is badly treated. Look at the treatment not only for your own blood, your own children, but also if you can extend the kindness to other children like the orphans and encourage us actually to show beyond our homes. The Prophet cautioned us and warned us against, you know, mistreating, you know, people, you know, regardless of their status. Uh, by extending, you know, the, the treatment that is good, you know, good to friends, relatives, neighbors, people in society. He وسلم, said the famous saying, the best amongst you are those who are good to their spouses. خيركم, خيركم لأهلي, وأنا خيركم لأهلي. And treating women kindly is a sign of belief for a man. And that's why Nabi وسلم, in Hajjat al Wada, the last sermon, he emphasized this message before he died. And even on the bed of his death, how you treat women is very important. And it's extremely important that kindness is extended to all people. So the Prophet وسلم, was asked by a man, Oh Messenger of Allah, my relatives are uh, not good to me. Uh, although I cooperate with them and treat them good and try not to cut them off, I'm kind to them, but they treat me in a very bad way. Look what the Prophet وسلم, said. This was his reply. He said, so long as you continue as you are, Allah will always, always help you and protect you against their mischief and Allah will bless you. This authentic hadith teaches us, it's not like uh, we repel evil with evil, but rather we repel evil with good. خُذِ الْعَفُ Allah says, وَأْمُرْ بِالْعُرْفُ وَأَعْرِضْ عَنِ الْجَائِرِ Always choose the way to forgive and take the high road and do good. This is just an example. May Allah give us kindness in our heart so we can understand how to become Waliullah. There is no way we can become Awliyaullah without being kind to the creation of Allah. Ar-Rahimuna yarhamuhum ar-Rahman. Irhamu man fil ardi yarhamukum man fil sama. Prophet Muhammad SAW says, those who, are, who show mercy and kindness to those on earth, Allah is merciful to them. Until next time, Salaamu Alaikum. <laughs> الذين آمنوا وكانوا يتقون